In this tutorial, I'll explain the logic nodes and the JavaScript used to make a very simple game. Click the cube as many times as you can in five seconds. 27 for you to beat. Before watching this tutorial, I recommend you watch my JS callback node tutorial. I'll put a link to it. As you can see, there are two logic sequences that run in parallel. This one is mainly concerned with updating the timer, and this one updates the score. I'm going to look at the bottom sequence first. All sequences start with an entry point node. The variable store node makes a new variable score with an initial value of zero. Global is clicked because the score variable is used in the other logic sequence. Variables made global are available to all logic sequences. The switch select node waits for the cube to be clicked and when it is clicked, passes on to the next node. The math operation node adds one to the score. The conditional jump node from the add control flow menu uses a condition to compare two operands and has a true and a false path. The node checks to see if the timer is greater than or equal to 5. If it's true, that's the end of the sequence. If it's false, we loop back and wait for the next click on the cube. That's how the score is updated. Now to look at how the timer is updated. All sequences start with an entry point node. Then there are two variable store nodes, making variables timer and start time, both initialized to zero. Timer needs to be global because it is used in both logic sequences, but start time doesn't need to be global because it is only used in this logic sequence. The switch select node is exactly the same as the one in the other sequence, when the cube is clicked, the timer is started and one is added to the score. The next node is a JS callback node. I have given the callback ID a meaningful name. It does get the start time. The next node, another JS callback node, uses the start time to calculate the elapsed time and also displays both time and score. The next node, a conditional jump node, is exactly the same as the one in the other sequence. Until 5 seconds is reached, we loop back and update the timer. When 5 seconds is reached, we move on to the next node. And the final node, a JS callback node, displays an end of game message. Next, I'm going to look at the JavaScript file where I'll go through the get start time callback function, the update timer callback function, and the end of game callback function, as well as other code needed to make the game work. I created a project, My Simple Game. I'm clicking the edit link. I clicked that I wanted starter files and I added my code to the JS file. The first line I added requires the logic nodes module, which you need if you want to use JS callback nodes before the 3D scene is loaded. You have to use the append custom callback method to link the callback IDs to the names of the callback functions. After the scene has loaded, I have put code that displays an initial message. The code is standard JavaScript for dynamically inserting text into a web page. Display div ID is the ID given to the div tag element created. Next we have the three 
JS callback node callback functions. The get start time callback function uses the date now method which returns a large number that is incremented every thousandth of a second. The update timer callback function also uses the date now method to get the current time, subtracting the start time to give the elapsed time in milliseconds, and then dividing by a thousand to give the elapsed time in seconds. The score is also passed to the function as a parameter, and the display div tag is updated with the time and the score. And in the end of game callback function, the final score is displayed in an end of game message. Going back to project manager, remember that the blender starter file must be overwritten by the blender game file. And once overwritten, the JSON starter file must be overwritten by clicking the re-export scenes link. And then it should all work. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put all the files for you to download at my website. Click the link or the eye icon. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link or the stick man. If you'd like to sponsor my tutorials, click the link. Thanks for watching and don't forget to try and beat the score of 27.